Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm really happy to be here and happy for you to join me. Let me just pull it up here on the computer real fast. There we go. That way when you hop on, I'd really appreciate it if you'd just say, hey, tell me where you're watching from. And, you know, leave me a comment. That way I, I know that you can hear me and that everything is working properly. So, anyway, what we're going to do tonight, we've got something a little bit different, a little fun. It's called a barn quilt. Look at that. Isn't that really neat? Now, this is on wood, and it's already etched into it. Isn't that really neat? So, we're going to paint that this evening, and I'm going to paint it with a couple of different colors. I've got a new paint that I haven't tried yet that's called Pearl Peacock. It's a metallic blue. And then I'm also going to be using a dark blue and a Caribbean blue and a white. So I think that that's going to turn out really pretty. So let me get you tilted down here and we're going to get started. So I'm going to start off using the dark blue. And I'm going to alternate here in the middle. I think I'm going to try this little brush right here. See how this little sponge brush does for this. I'm going to do this right here. So now it's already etched on there. So you still got to be a little bit careful. You can't get all crazy with it. But, you know, it's mainly just to keep you within the guidelines. Yeah, that's not doing too bad. I kind of like that, how that works there. We'll just go on and use this little brush. We're supposed to get uh, snow here tomorrow. That'll be, of course, the first of our new year for here in Cincinnati anyway, for 2022. And they said it could be anywhere from two to four inches. So that would be quite a surprise. It's not supposed to start until tomorrow afternoon. So it's nothing that's, you know, bearing down right now. But of course, you know, our, our local grocery stores are preparing for the the milk and bread and egg people that show up to get their get their hot commodities that they need. Of course, you know, nobody wants to get snowed in. I understand that, too. Make sure you have something good and yummy to eat while you're at the house. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, huh? I'm just going to use this color here to go around and alternate on each of the larger ones here in the middle. Might have to end up, I don't know, we'll have to see how that looks once that dries. That might need another little bit of a layer on it there. Flip that around and go to this one. Probably should have started with the lighter one and then I could have worked my way up to the dark and then I wouldn't have to worry about rinsing out my little sponge brush, huh? Oh well, we just do as we go and see how it goes. I think it's going to look really pretty, though, when we get it done. I think these colors are going to look really good together. I'm going to use this as a navy blue that I'm using here. Or no, this is the dark blue, isn't it? Yep. Craft Smart's dark blue. Now, I can get these cute little barn quilts, too. I can get all kinds of different designs, too. Not just this particular barn square. There's all kinds of different barn squares that I can get, different barn, they're barn quilt squares, barn quilting squares. If you're interested in anything like that, just let me know and I will shoot you a message and show you what I can get and we can talk about it. They are so pretty and there's so many different ones. This is from my uh, woodworking team with Diverse Woodwork or Diverse Woodwork. Diverse woodwork. I always say it wrong. Diverse. Diverse woodwork. Diverse. I say diverse. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's, I don't know, a little hillbilly coming out of me. Maybe. Just, just, just a little bit. Nothing wrong with that though, folks. I'll tell you that. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and tip that in the water there and get that off of there. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Steve. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate you commenting for me. That way I know that we're on the right place and then the right page and everybody can actually hear me and 
Everything's going okay. Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you had a good New Year's. Okay, now I'm going to start now. I'm going to use this Caribbean. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and do this every other one while that dries. And then that way the Caribbean, because I'm going to put the Caribbean right in here. So I think right now I'm going to do this metallic blue. I'm, I'm just really excited about this metallic blue, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really excited. I, I kind of just want to get started and see what it's got. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like a mermaid kind of color. A mermaid green. Mermaid blue. Whatever you want to call that. Really pretty metallic. Woohoo. We're going to start that right here. Just kind of pat it along right that little edge right there. Ooh, it is. It's like a mermaid's tail color. I love this. Mmm. That is deco art. Deco art peacock pearl. Really pretty color. Deco art. I will definitely... Be getting some more of that. We're going to do every other one of these smaller little triangles here in this pretty little peacock pearl. And I'm just going to kind of quickly fill them in. Did you do anything fun for New Year's? We just kind of hung out at home. We did go out for dinner. I can't say we just stayed at home. We did go out for dinner. We had a nice dinner and then we came back and just kind of hung out for here. But it was nice. Nice and relaxing. Okay, that one's going to be white. So this will be another one of the peacock colors here. Woohoo! I am really, really, really liking that color. I'm going to have to find a bunch of things to paint that with. I saw it, you know, I was talking about diverse woodworking. I was uh, looking through their catalog, so to speak, their online catalog. And they've got a mermaid tail, and I absolutely have a very good reason to buy it now, just to use this paint on it. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. But this is very pretty. I know you can't really see how cool that looks. You had a good New Year's? Good. I'm glad you guys did. Yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't do, you know, I mean, we just low-key, but that's okay, you know. I wasn't really uh looking to go out and do anything crazy on New Year's anyway. But we had a good New Year's. It was nice. Our neighbors, that boy, they was having them a party next door. They were all getting crazy at midnight out shooting and putting off all kinds of fireworks and firecrackers and bottle rockets and all kinds of stuff, screaming and yelling and having a good time. But, you know, I'm not, I didn't mind. I don't, you know, I don't make it, want to make it sound like I, I was upset. I wasn't upset about that at all. That, that's fine. I think that's great. Get out and celebrate. Have a good time. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm trying to move along here about as quickly as I can without getting too carried away. Try to there we go. That's kind of thick right there. Maybe if I pull it towards me. I'm just spinning that thing around. I hope I'm not making y'all seasick. Twirl it this way and twirl it that way. Okay, we're going to move to this one right here. I like how it's got these lines. And I mean, you know, you're not going to stay exactly right in the lines. But it makes it so much simpler for you to not have to worry about trying to make it perfectly straight. It's pretty well straight. 
straight enough. It is straight enough. And it's very good for guidelines. Makes it really, really simple. All right, let's see. We're going to this one right here. Now that got a little over the line there, so I'm just going to push it back that way. There we go. Told it this way so I can get to that edge. Ooh. Yep, that's shiny right there. I'll have to go over that with the dark blue because that, that is shiny. That just, that'll show up. That's going to show up. So I'll have to take a little spot of the dark, dark blue and go over that little hit right there. But that's okay. We'll let it dry and then we'll fix it. You know, like I always say, there's no such thing as a mistake. You just let it dry and paint over it. No big deal. No big deal at all. That's sort of the fun of it, too. You get to go back and do a little bit of touchy up here, a little bit of touchy up there, and then it always looks so pretty when you get it done. Kind of smooth that down just a little bit there. Okay, that takes care of putting in that little mermaid tail color, so we're going to, for the moment, we will be using more of it around the outside here. Okay, just going to squeeze that out. Got it running down here. There. There we go. And now I'm going to use this Caribbean blue. Oh, it's got a hunk of hanging on it. Go that way. Now this looks very much, very much like that same color, except it doesn't have that shine to it. And it's lighter. It is a lighter color. So we're going to put it right in here. Mm. It is very much like that color, but without the shine. I wonder if I maybe should have chose a different blue, maybe. Maybe I should have went with the teal. Because that looks very, very, very much the same, doesn't it? Because I don't think you can see the sheen on the mermaid tail like I see it here. So I think that probably looks like about the same color. No, it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? it it's a little bit. Yeah, it's slightly different. It's slightly different. It's pretty much the same looking color, though, actually. <laughs> Let me see. What have I got here? Have I got a... Should I do it in Key West instead? Here, let's try that. I want it to have more of a variation to it. Nope, doggone, that looks pretty much like the exact same color, just a lightly, slightly lighter color, so I'm not going with that either. Just going to put that right back in there. I need a darker color. That's really what I need. Here, let's try this. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do. Let's go with that color instead. 
we're going to swap out this Caribbean blue here and put in green teal instead. Now I'm going to have to paint that one over, but we'll work on that in a second here. This has got a little bit of a more of a turquoise kind of color shade to it, and it's darker. It's got that green tint. So that's going to show up just a little bit better. Just make these decisions as I'm sitting here. I thought I had the colors all picked out and they would look right, but once we start putting it on here, and yeah, I know where they dry a little darker. They do dry darker, but it was not going to be much of a difference between those two colors at all. And I'd kind of like for it, you know, from a distance to be notably different. <laughs> notably different. I had thought about putting some silver in here too, and then I thought, no, if I'm going to use the metallic, the metallic blue, then I don't want to use a silver because that would be a competing, a competing metallic. So I thought I would try the Caribbean blue, but that was just too much the same color, honestly, just a little too. Too familiar in shade. I think this green teal is standing out so much better, you know, than that one right there. I think that makes a big difference. And it definitely will as it dries. As it dries. Gotta be careful with them little corners. That's where the hardest part is, is just getting it in these little corners. There we go. You know, you're not expecting perfection either. It's not fine art, it's fun art, right? That's what we're doing is fun art. We're just wanting to do something that's fun and relaxing and we can have a good time doing it and enjoy it and not worry about any kind of perfectionism. That stuff goes all out the window when we're sitting here in our little art spot creating and enjoying. There we go. Just slide that right up through there. I think that shows up a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Yep, I'm liking that better right there. Okay, now I'm going to touch up that dark blue in a couple of spots. Squeeze that out. Hey, Rick. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here tonight. I hope you're having a good evening. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. I appreciate you making a comment for me. Hope things are going good. I'm just going to put this right here because I can see that, that shiny. Where I got that right on that spot right there. A little tiny spot of the teal right here. Now I know I'm getting crazy with it. I always do. I get to where I'm trying too much of a perfectionism. Trying to get every little spot just looking just right. Just right. I do get carried away with that. I know it. I have to admit it. And sometimes I just gotta say, stop, Janet, stop. But I'm gonna just try to get those corners just a little bit sharper right there. 
Just that tip. Maybe this right here. There. Not get carried away with it. Going to stop right there with that. And then we're going to move on to the white. Let me squeeze that out real good. Okay. Trying to keep us moving along here. We don't want to take too long doing it. There we go. And we're going to put this right in here. This little last remaining area. We're going to make that the white. Just to kind of help the other colors pop a little bit more. Because white will definitely make it stand out. Now, oops, I got a goop up there at the top, but we're not going to worry about that because we're going to paint those all colors too. Let me just kind of get it. It's a little thick. I don't want it to dry with a big thick line on it. Okay. This little sponge brush is kind of giving it a little bit of a textured look. Just a wee bit of a textured look. Now, just going to try to fill these in kind of quickly here. You know, I was thinking you could take this and you could put it on one of the large pieces of round, uh, the round wood door hangers. It's already got little holes in it, so if you wanted to just hang it on your door just the way it is, you wouldn't have to drill any holes in it or do anything to it. You could just hang it the way it is. It's already got little holes in these areas. But I was thinking you could take this and you could put it on one of the round door hangers, the great big 18-inch uh, round door hanger. You know, paint it whatever colors you want that match your house, your decor, whatever. Put it on the great big round one behind it. And then take the little wooden cutout words, welcome and home, and maybe put welcome at the top and home at the bottom. And wouldn't that make a really pretty door hanger? I think that would make a beautiful door hanger for just, you know, any season, any time of year. That's that's not a seasonal one. That's just a pretty door hanger for whenever. I think that would look really pretty. I'm thinking I might do that. Now, I'm going to be doing this with um, my uh, therapeutic art class next month. This is going to be their next month's project. This month we will be doing a, um, a Valentine's door hanger for them. We will, we will be working on a Valentine's door hanger. I've already got it done, and we're going to be doing that next Wednesday. So that'll be something that you will definitely be seeing some pictures of on the page next week. I'm going to be doing this with the group right here we're gonna make the great big love you a latte isn't that cool we're gonna make that next week so you will see that on the page if you keep an eye out we'll be showing the pictures of what the group creates there we go just a couple more here I'm moving kind of slow aren't I I gotta get a move on here I tell you, I get to talking, and then I can't, I, I just yakety 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 yak, and my hand moves slower. Oops, there, I got that in the dark blue, but that's okay. We'll just go back and fix it in a second here. Like I said, we don't have to worry about a mistake. You just wait for it to dry. Paint over top of it. There we go. That looks fine. Let me smooth that just a little bit there. Let's 
seems like there's more of the white ones than there were the, 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 but I know there's not. That's just my imagination saying that it seems like there's a lot of the white ones. But it's not. It's the same amount. There we go. I had to go back and do just a little bit of clean up work there, but not too bad. I'm not getting it too bad. It's not too bad. I like the lines on it. That makes it helpful to where you can see. You don't have to worry too much about it. Here we go. Two more of those. And then we're ready to paint the outside. And I'm going to kind of do the outside just like I've been doing this with just a piece of that color and a piece of this color and work it all the way around the outside to keep that patchwork look going. My mom used to do quilting. My grandmother did quilting. My great-grandmother did quilting. When I was a kid at our house, there was a quilting, uh, quilting rod, quilting squares, quilting batting, everything all over the place. My mom and my grandmother and all of them, they all made beautiful, beautiful quilts. My mother made me a beautiful quilt for our wedding, and I, I still have it. It's on the bed over here next to me. It's it's got a uh, autumn leaf pattern on it. It's a beautiful quilt. I'd show it to you, but it's covered with stuff right now. There's stuff sitting on the bed. It is a beautiful quilt. I've got a quilt that my great-grandmother made me before she passed. And it's a, a crazy quilt. I have a quilt that um, my Aunt Faye made for me. And it has a, I think it's a, I think it's called a log cabin square or something like that. It's got the square that goes around and around and sort of like looks like it's going towards inward, but it sort of looks like a little cabin, I think, is that one. I've still got quite a few. My, uh, my dad's mother, she made quilts too. She made me a blue jean quilt that I, <laughs> as a teenager, she made me a blue jean quilt out of all kinds of old blue jeans. I had that thing on my bed for years and years and years. I loved that quilt. I loved that quilt. And it had sort of a <laughs> a horsehair type backing on it. It was sort of itchy, but I loved that thing. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. My grandma made that for me. It was something. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to do one of these right here. I'm just going to do this one right here. Since I've already got the white on it. With this white. Let me just try to edge it up right here. Kind of curious how this would look with a brush. Although, I mean, with a, a hair, a, you know, a bristle brush, not a sponge brush. What would the texture look be from that? I guess I'll find out. Not right this second, though. I'm just going to keep working with this. And you can see I'm not too worried about it getting out of the lines right here. I'm going to be adding darker colors to those. So white's one of the least ones to worry about, huh? I can basically just pull it just like that. And do the same thing here.
Okay, so there we've got one of these edges in the white. Okay, so that would be that color. This one would be white right here then. It's just sort of like every other one is what I'm working on at this point for the outsides, for the outlining. And we're going to use the exact same color schemes. I got too much of the paint on the sides here. Let me get some of that off. I'm not going to get too worried about that. I'm more worried about it edged right here. Right through here, with a nice layer of white. All right, here we go. I'm really putting it on there now, aren't I? I'm just slapping it on. Just slapping it on. Okay. I'll give that a moment real quick. <laughs> yeah, I see that, Jessica. How pretty. Thank you. As I'm over here, just like, blah, 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 pouring the white on all over the place. I'm going to straighten it up. I'm going to edge it. So we'll get it. We'll get it looking nice again. Right now, I'm just sort of throwing it down. <laughs> throwing it down. Okay. Let's see. The white goes with the... The white and the... Metallic blue. Maybe this, these two right here. through there. I don't have to worry too much about that, do I, since that's the metallic blue right there next to it. I just wish you guys could see how pretty this blue really, really is. This mermaid, mermaid blue! Makes me want to start Bursting out in the song, under the sea. Stop it, stop it. You never know. I do love that. I do love that cartoon. I have to admit, that is one of my favorite Disney cartoons. That Little Mermaid. Of course, I like, I am a Disney, I am a Disney person. I like Disney cartoons. I'm, I'm just one of them kind of people. I like the Disney cartoons. I always have. You know, when, when my kids were little, I think we had every VCR tape of all the Disney shows. I, I just, all the Disney cartoons. I love them. We still have them. I have to, literally, literally have to make it a point of getting a VCR player. We, of course, we had them for years and years and years, and then they went out of style, and everybody got rid of their VCR player and got themselves a DVD player, a Blu-ray player, or whatever, whatever, whatever player, but we didn't keep our VCR player. And I have so many VCR tapes of the kids when they were little. I've got VCR tapes of my parents. I've got so many VCR tapes, and I really, really would love to just get myself a VCR player and watch them. Or some of them anyway. We've got trips to where we've gone. I mean, even our trip to the Grand Canyon is on VCR tapes. So that tells you how long that was, how long ago that was when we filmed that on a VCR tape. Well, it wasn't filmed on VCR tape. It was filmed on those smaller tapes that you put inside the VCR. It was a different kind of thing too, but you could play it in your VCR player. That was another thing that we had that was totally different. Okay, I'm just going to move right into this teal color here. And we're just going to put it right here. I'm going to 
Try to be a little careful with it right there. There we go. Now I'm going to have to bring it over here. Ooh, that got kind of sloppy. Now, I can fix it. I can fix it. It's okay. You just have to do a little white edge, huh? A little white edging. But you know, if I was a little more careful, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Just kind of take my time and actually just push it down to the edge. Right there. And then just sort of smooth it down a little bit. There we go. So it wouldn't be this one, it would be this one, it would be the next one that would be the dark, the green teal, right here. There we go. Let's try this right here. Yeah, you can kind of see that white through there. I'll have to put another little bit on that, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it right this moment. Just going to slide this down the edge here. turn that so I can I just turned it right back to the way it was I think I don't know I don't know I'm just trying to get this to where I can see this edge a little better and maybe just make that a little darker right there to where that white doesn't show through so much. I think that'll work. Okay, now we're going to move into the dark blue right here. I'm going to rinse that off though. I don't need to mix all that stuff in there. Don't need to get everything mixed up in there and just make it a big old muddle pud mess of stuff. All right. Definitely getting it all over me. <laughs> but you know, if you ain't got the paint on you by the time you get done painting, then you really weren't painting, were you? And there's nothing wrong with finger painting. I kind of enjoy finger painting personally. I think it can be a lot of fun. Okay, just bring that right over to that edge there. There we go. Run it right along the edge. Am I getting it out of the screen? No? Okay. Oh, I'm tearing up the paper. I want to make sure I'm keeping it in the screen area for you there so that you can see what I'm doing because it doesn't do any good to get on here and paint something for you if you're not able to see what I'm painting. <laughs> if I'm off somewhere off, off view of the camera. That's sort of a, hmm, crazy move. Okay, I'm going to hold my hand up here and just sort of work this right along this edge. Ooh, be careful. Right along through there. Fill this 
this in. Just fill this in real quick. Anybody watch uh, Cobra Kai yet? Seen a few people mention it so far. I know I'm going to definitely take time to watch it. I really enjoyed the other seasons of it. We've been watching that crazy Dexter, which is uh, Dexter New Blood. And that's really something. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. They've, they've got a great storyline on that. We watch some crazy stuff. We do watch a lot of Big Bang Theory, too, though. So, you know, I mean, it's not like it's all crazy stuff. We watch a lot of comedies and things like that, too. Just going to fill this in right here and then just do some quick touch-up. And we will be done with this, you guys. Now, 40 minutes. I was trying not to take so long, but... I guess it does take just a little bit longer than you'd think. Let me push this edge down here. When you start worrying about trying to keep it right in the line, it slows you down, doesn't it? That's okay. Let me see. A little bit right there. Right along this edge here. There we go. Just got to touch this spot right there. All right. That doesn't look too bad. Put you in there. Where's that little fella? Here's the little fella. Let me go right into there. Just put that right in this little corner there. Let me turn this over this way and put this right on that little spot there. Just a couple of little quick touch-ups right here. I'm just going back and forth in between the colors. I'm not even really worried about rinsing off my brush or anything because they're just small, quick, little touches. Very small touches. That I'm just sort of um, too worried about myself, I guess. It's something that you probably can't even see from where you're all looking at. Let's see, I wanted to fix that. Of course I do. I want to fix everything, don't I? Because I got a fix-it problem. I have to fix it. Okay, one little thing I'm going to fix right there is that white. I just want to... Smooth that line down. Just a little. Okay, and that's what in the pull of blue. So wipe it off and get more white. There we go. That looks good. All right, guys, that's it. It's done. I think it looks pretty perfect. I'm going to stop right there because if I don't, I'm going to drive myself crazy doing little touch-ups like that. Stop. There we go. That's it. I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it turned out really pretty. I don't know if you can see how shiny. I don't know if it shows well or not. That, that. I don't know. Anyway, it's very pretty. <laughs> it's a very, very pretty color. I really, really like it. Look at how pretty that barn quilt turned out. Isn't that neat? I really like it. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.